Yo, what is up, guys? And in today's video, I'm going to be playing Season Mode um, with all my new players. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you some of my new players that you might not have seen yet. Or maybe I'll just go over a lot of my team. So let's start off with wide receiver. I've got um, Ted Ginn Jr. He's got really good stats. If you want to see him, you can just pause the video. He's got 95 speed. That is amazing. His awareness is amazing. His catch is good. Next receiver is Jeremy Macklin. He's the Thanksgiving one, and he's really good. And, yeah, now on to my third string receiver or the flex position. I have the Tyler Eifert from the league, and I put him there since I finally got the 99 Rob Gronkowski. I actually had him, like, a few weeks ago, but, um... I haven't made a video about him, but you'll see him today playing season mode as he has 99 catch. He gives the team plus 5 catch and plus 5 strength. On to my quarterback, that Tom, um, Tom Brady timeline. Running back is um, Frank Gore, MVP. I am looking for the 93 legend, um, Ahmad Green. But he's about 200k, and I have 175k right now, so I am gonna wait and maybe get that Ahmad Green. Next, here's my fullback, the Patrick DeMarco. Still got him. My offensive line, you could see there: Tyron Smith, Kalichi Osimeli, Travis Federick, Zach Martin, and Joe Thomas. Um, let's start off with my cornerback. Richard Sherman from the league, 99 agility, 98 awareness, and his man zone and play recognition is so good. So that is good. 98 jump, 98 press. These stats are just absolutely amazing. Next, my other cornerback, Josh Norman. He's been doing so good for me. Next, this is in the nickel, Will Parks. He has done so good for me, getting tons of picks. He's just so great for me. Next, Patrick Peterson. Um, he he does get a lot of picks, but I'm looking to replace him soon as he, he's only 88 overalls. Now he's a 99. So that was my dime. Now let's go to the safeties. This Eric Berry um, headliners. I bought him off the auction. He has been so good. He blocks punts. He gets interceptions. He's a real clutch playmaker. He's got some really good stats. Next on to my other safety, Bob Sanders. I've had him for a pretty long time. Linebackers. This is a new one, Ted Hendricks. I've, I have had him for a while, but you guys may not have known. Ted Hendricks. Other linebacker, 93, Justin Houston. I actually pulled him from the full um, from the football outsiders set. Um, it was a crazy pull. It was it was great. I usually get like an eighty five a lead or something. This one was a great pull. I didn't have to spend money on him. It was great. Next middle linebackers, Vontae's perfect. I bought him once. He's done great. Kevin Green. I'm ha I've had him for so long. He's still on my team. He's done great. Next, defensive lineman, J.J. Watt, had him for a long time. Chris Baker, had him since Thanksgiving was out. Aaron Donald, I had him from the start. You could pause to see if you want to see the stats. Living old Joseph, I've recently completed his um, set. Yeah, um, completed the set. It was great. He gives you plus two tackle. And he has 99 strength. Look at that. Some some, some uh, great stats. There's defense. Here's special teams. Kicker Dan Bailey. Um, kick returner. The hero Tyler Lockett. Punter is a football outsider. Jordan Berry. Punt returner. Jordan Brown. I mean, not Jordan Brown. Antonio Brown. I was thinking of Jordan Berry. And I said Jordan Brown. So Antonio Brown. And we're just going to do the ultimate freeze real quick. And the ultimate freeze is really good. It um, 
it gives you some good stuff to put in the sets and I am 13 out of 25 for um, the elite player those sell for about a hundred K so when I get it I should make some really good profit out of it the um, it definitely won't go on my team because like they don't have really good overalls but I'll sell it for um, some good coins we're gonna complete this here. Hopefully, we get something good. And you know, that's not a good sign. We only got a silver player, no snowflakes. But let's get right into it. Playing season mode. I am the Jets at home, and I'm playing the Giants. Should be a good game. So we are gonna kick off first, like usual. And I do have the Mexico Stadium as it is pretty cool but I would like the frozen stadium because that looks really cool too Dwayne Harris will return it and I have tons of defensive playmakers so let's see if anyone does something and Ted Hendricks right there gets a big sack on Eli Manning and bring the pressure again but they find OBJ All right, third down three, and oh, they ran it. Why they run it? Now, who? Here's Eric Berry. He blocks so many punts. He's so fast. He just goes up there, blocks a punt. Brad Wing was the punter. Here, go to Ted Ginn. Oh, that was a bad pass. And I, I am looking for another quarterback. Someone like Tom Brady, yeah, he, he's done really good for me, but he's only a 90 overall. So I'm looking for a little bit better quarterback than that. And we're going to give it off to Frank Gore and wide open lane he had. And that was a touchdown. So we're going to take a 7 to nothing lead as we make the extra point. And Dan Bailey to kick off. And these Pro Bowl uniforms are sick. I mean, they're all black. The away ones are all white. They're okay. I know I already addressed these in my other videos, but they're just really cool. Alright. I want to see a pick. Oh, that might be a pick. Oh, that was close. Richard Sherman on the good coverage. on OBJ. Eli Manning finds Sterling Shepard. They're down five. Oh, they're handing it off. They always hand it off on third down. They got it that time, though. All right, now I'm J.J. Watt. Oh. Ah, Larry Donald. Second down and two. Oh my god. Oh, pick Josh Norman. Josh Norman on the interception. He's gotten so much for me. Great play there by Josh Norman. And Gronk is wide open. I'm not going to leave him wide open. I'm going to find him. I pick up the first down. Oh my god. Second and inches. I'm just go right to Gronk. Yeah. Yeah, just get Gronk. Some good reception here. Alright, here's Jeremy Macklin wide open. He'll at least get to the 15 yard line. Alright, there we go. End of the first quarter. 7 0. We're up. Alright, Tom Brady. Here we go. We're finding Tyler Eifert, and he got it. That is a touchdown. An extra point will be good. 14 nothing. And here we go, Dan Bailey. He's going to kick it off. And Dwayne Harris again. First and 10 by the Giants. Let's see another pick. I want a, a safety pick. I want to see an Eric Berry pick. Eric Berry or Richard Sherman. Oh, Eli. 
Oh, don't say the running. Okay. Oh, oh, that should have been a pick. Fourth and eight. You know what's coming. Blocked by Eric Berry. Oh, wouldn't let me get the guy. Now I'm going to have to return it with Antonio Brown. Oh. All right. I'm going to toss it to Frank Gore, see if he can make a play. The reason I want a new running back is because Frank Gore is really slow. He's probably the slowest back in the game. His strength is probably one of the best, but he's got really bad speed. Oh, I shouldn't have threw that dead again, and that's intercepted by DRC. Ah, oh, that was a bad decision. Um... All right, hand off to Rashad Jennings. Oh, oh my God. Rashad Jennings taking it to the house. He finally has a good run on the day. Touchdown, Giants. And try and block it with Will Parks, but it'll be very unlikely. Kick is good, 14-7. And they're going to kick it off. Hmm. 32 seconds to go in the half. And I'm just going to call a fair catch so I can get it at the 25. And they're always suggesting me to pass. They're not really, they don't really want me to run the football a lot. But Jerry Macklin doesn't open. I was, I was looking for him, but now I'm going to have to throw it deep to Ted Ginn. And oh, incomplete. Alright. Oh, I'm going to scramble Tom Brady. Oh my. Jeez, I ran into my alignment. Back now it's third and thirteen. Wait, did the Giants just call timeout? I don't know. I didn't see it. Go to Gronk and he's wide open. He's got it at the fifty, all the way down to the forty-six yard line. Fourteen seconds. We're gonna call timeout. We're gonna try and get some points so we could be up by two scores going into the half, and we get ball, so we should be good to go. Eight seconds, call another timeout. And if any of you guys are in a league, just comment in the comment section because I need a league right now um, to go in. Um, an active league plays a lot so I can get a lot of collectibles. As we will take this 21 to 7 going into the half. All right, 21-7. We basically are going to have the victory here over New York. Since we are already up two scores and we're getting the ball, which will put us up three scores probably. So, yep, there we go. And we're going to find Jeremy Macklin wide open. He'll get us the first down, but oh. Yep, they'll still give it to us. Over at the 35. Oh! Macklin was open, but our lineman did not want to block. Oh my gosh. We need blocking from the lineman. Well, we're doing a screen. Third and 21, just like real life. Oh my. Not even good blocking at all. Wow. Alright, so now we're giving the Giants the ball. If they score a touchdown, then it's only a one possession game. But I don't think they're going to score a touchdown. Alright, decent punt. And Dwayne Harris, oh! I wish there was a hit stick so he could completely just knock, knock Dwayne Harris down. Oh, that was a big sack right there. No blocking whatsoever. That'll be a sack. A five-yard loss. Eli Manning, he's going to throw it out of bounds. Wow. So now they've got themselves a third down and 15. And there's only 43 seconds to go in the third quarter. And, oh, they find Beckham all the way to the 35. And, oh. Manning is ripped to the ground. That'll be a second down and 15. And 
They're going to throw the deep ball. Dub recovered and incomplete. Almost an interception. Now they've got themselves to yet another third down 15. They won't get anything. A yard, maybe. No, not even a yard. So here's the punt. Hopefully we can block it with Eric Berry. And he actually does block it this time. Wow. So now we're already in giant territory. So I'm just going to throw the deep ball to Ted Ginn. It'll be a big one here in this car for the touchdown. Ted Ginn. And we will take the 28-7 lead over the New York Giants. We are giving them the ball with a minute 38 seconds to go in the game, combining the third quarter and the fourth quarter together. And, yep, here we go. Dwayne Harris needs a good return here. We'll get no farther than the 25. Giants really need to score all of their possessions, and, and they need to stop us all their possessions. So this is n a nearly impossible um, comeback. So we should have the victory sealed by now. Yep, fourth quarter, minute 30 to go. They're down by 21. Um... So this is nearly impossible. But hey, they can at least score two touchdowns and make it 28-21. Look remotely close, but Vontae's perfect with the interception. That completely seals it up. And that will be game, but we're going to keep going with Gronkowski. And I'll take it all the way to the 11. I'm going to scramble with Brady. And he gets absolutely nothing. My lineman wouldn't move out of the way. Second down and 10. I'm going to try running again. I actually got a few yards there. I got inside the 5. Third down and 4. Remember, I, I, it's possible to get the first down here, but I will not need that as I'll take it in the end zone. Another touchdown. And the kick will be good. 35-7. to seven, We take the big lead against New York. 35 to 7. We're going to kick it off again to Dwayne Harris. Minute 5 to go. And the Giants will take over at the 15 yard line. And play action pass. And all the way backed up to the 11 yard line. And Manning is looking to scramble. And. He might actually get two yards there. I'll bring up a third down and 13. And they're going to throw it, obviously. A deep ball to Beckham, but a bad pass out of bounds. Now they're punting. This could possibly be a safety, but it wouldn't let me use her Eric Berry in time. So Antonio Brown will have to take the punt. It's actually a bad punt. So now we're going to take over at the 43-yard line. Alrighty, good field position. Why not throw the deep ball to Ted Ginn and get him a two reception touchdown game? Ted Ginn. He is going off. Ted Ginn is going off. We are going to have to check out his stats. Never mind Gronkowski. Everyone take a look at Ted Ginn. He's got a monster day. If I had him on my fantasy team, oof, I think that might be like 20 fantasy points. Of course, that is not nowhere near the best fantasy performances of all time. Like Jamal Charles, 51 fantasy points. And uh, Sean Alexander, fit, um, at least 53. So now they're just... If well, I was the Giants, I would just try and score as much as I can to make it look um, a little better. Because the Giants are just taking a big beating in this game. And we're going to throw it in. Caught by Beckham. Beckham has had some big catches today, but only a few of them. So he will, I bet you he'll have no more than 40 reception yards on the day. Second and 19. This should be the last play of the game. And nope, he dropped it. 
So one last play, then we'll review Tedgin's stats. Hopefully we can get a pick, and oh, we knock him to the ground. Incomplete pass. We will take the victory over New York Giants. Game stats. We're going to look at Ted Ginn. Um, so we're basically just going to scroll through all of this and see how much Ted Ginn had. Um, no reception yards for Ted Ginn yet. Gronkowski, Rob Gronkowski had some receptions. No action from Ted Ginn yet. 43 yards. All right, so we're going to tap that down. 43 yards and a touchdown. 43 yards and a touchdown. Another 43 yards. So he's got 86 yards and two touchdowns. And that is it. But he had two receptions, 86 yards, and two touchdowns. I mean, why not do these head-to-head -head drives and another Madden Mobile vlog? We're just doing everything. We're doing season mode. We're doing head-to-head. -head. And here we go. So we're going to do two head-to-head -head games, and we will wrap up the video as Ted Ginn is going off in that season mode. Yes, he, yes, he only had two receptions, but... He had 86 yards and two touchdowns off of those. Second and 18. Hmm, I don't know really. Oh, I like Patrick DeMarco. I saw him. He was open by like, I was going to wait a little to see if anyone else would open up. I'm going to fire at Tekken again. And incomplete. That was a good defensive play. Fourth and 23. I really do not know what to do. I'm just going to do a deep attack. If they counter me, then I give up. But I'll just chuck up the deep ball to Ted Ginn. I don't know about this. And incomplete. Tyler Eifert could have dove for that. Sorry, guys. This is a long video. But this is a lot of stuff to do. And we are in overtime. It's tied 7-7. to Playing the Browns. Alright. I think the other guy already went. Yeah, he already went. So, if I score a touchdown, I automatically win. If I don't, then we'll see what happens. Rob Gronkowski, a big reception there. And on the season mode, Gronk actually did not have a bad game. He had a lot of receptions. He just... I don't, I don't believe he had a touchdown. Maybe he did, and but I don't know. So here with Frank Gore. I'm going to run it. Third down and two. So we're just going to do the little pass play to Patrick DeMarco. And he's got the first down. Whoa. And... That play is hard to do without getting blitzed. Second and ten, another handoff to Frank Gore, and a big first down. We're going to do this play again, but it looks like we're going to get countered. So, I will do a Hail Mary. We've already got some good yards, so even if we don't score, we might win. I'm going to throw it up to Ted Ginn, and hopefully it doesn't get intercepted. And we got it. Ted Ginn going off again. What a huge reception. That we needed right there. And Patrick DeMarco is pushing his way through. And he's got a good two yards there. Two and a half yards. Second goal now. And he doesn't get um, anywhere. Here, third and goal. We're finding Jeremy Macklin at the back of the end zone. And they picked it off. No way. They just picked it off. Oh, crap. Oh my gosh. He only got 22 yards. That sucks. That sucks. I shouldn't have even passed it. Oh my gosh. Macklin was open too. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. 
thank you guys so much. If you actually watched the whole video, leave a like and subscribe. I'll come out with another video soon. Peace.